As COP28 talks get underway, there is a strong focus on investment in renewable energy sources such as solar and wind. But for many, the holy grail of clean energy is nuclear fusion. In that process, two or more smaller atoms are combined to create far more energy than nuclear fission, which is used in nuclear power stations, and no radioactive waste is produced. Giles Gibson went to meet the Italian scientists who are part of an international effort to build a nuclear fusion reactor. What you're watching is a world record. 59 megajoules of heat energy created by nuclear fusion over five seconds. Researchers at the Joint European Taurus or JET project in the UK made this short but giant leap forward last year. They're part of a global push to create power plants that run off this technology. This is the main scientific objective. Paola Battistoni is in charge of fusion energy research at INEA, the Italian government agency for new technologies. She showed me a model of the Diverter Tokamak Test Facility, or DTT, that's being built on the outskirts of Rome. A diverter will be a key part of any future nuclear fusion reactor, which will contain hydrogen gas heated to extremely high temperatures. Such a gas would tend to expand very quickly, no? so we need to find a way to confine and to keep steadily confined this gas in a given volume. And we achieve this with the magnetic fields. Magnetic fields, they, um, in, in a sense, a sort of cage which can contain uh, the plasma in a given configuration. The plasma inside a reactor is heated to 150 million degrees centigrade. That's 10 times hotter than the core of the sun. In, in every engineer project, we always have a margin. That's why much of the work of Enea scientists like Simonetta Turtu is focused on finding materials that can survive in such harsh conditions, such as metal alloys. This lab is where we uh, uh, qualify and characterize the superconductors which are uh, very special uh, material which is able to carry current and power uh, without dissipating by jowl effect, so with no electrical resistance. The DTT is part of a much bigger project being built in France known as ITER. Funded by more than 30 countries, ITER is set to be the world's largest tokamak or experimental reactor the next step on the road to building an actual nuclear fusion power plant. So the European program aims at having a demonstration reactor by the around the mid-century. Okay? Because we know that uh, we know what we have and we know what is what is missing and we have a plan to study what is missing. Right now, even to sustain fusion for just a few seconds, scientists have to put in much more energy than is produced. But they hope that one day, years and years of work will add up to a seismic shift in the way we power our world. Giles Gibson, CNA, Rome.